For cheap Minecraft hosting, be sure to go ahead and check out Clovex.net. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to record dual commentaries. Now just before I get into this video, let's say this is a request tutorial as you see on the screen right now. With that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial on 10 Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After X, or Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So getting straight into this, there's going to be some ups and downs, meaning you're going to have to pay for some software, or you're going to have to figure out a way how to get it for free. So let's start off. So I'm going to start you off with the screen recorders. Now the reason for this is because the screen recorders can record your screen, as well as the audio from the system, as well as your voice, meaning you can do a dual commentary like that. But, let's start off. So, the first one, of course, is Camtasia. This is the one I use for tutorials, and it's a really good software. Now, there is a bit of a cost to it. You can also get a free trial to test it out at first, but the price of this is pretty expensive, as you'll see right now. So, you can see it's also available on Mac, so that's a good side to it. And you can see the price right there, I think that's about $230, so that's a bit of a downside to it, however it is a very good software. Now what I use this for is to record my voice and the screen at the same time, so that is what I'm using right now, so I'll put it on the screen. So you can record your voice and the screen at the same time using Camtasia, that is an option. Now within Camtasia you can also record your voice and the system audio at the same time, but it's completely up to you, you can mess about with it, so you can either just record the screen, you can record the screen and your voice, you can record the screen and the Skype call, or whatever software you're using, or you can record the screen, your voice, and your friend's voice at the same time. Now the next screen record I'm going to show you is Fraps. Now I know loads of people have a downside to this because it takes up a lot of space, however I made a video how to shorten Fraps files by like 50 gigabyte. it's very very simple, that will be in the description below so you can go ahead and check that out. And yes, this is it right here. Now is there a downside to Fraps? I guess there is. Well, it's a little bit of a downside, it costs money again. So you can see the price of Fraps is actually £24, which I believe is like $35. So it's fairly cheap, it's cheaper than the other one. Now what I use Fraps for is when I record my Minecraft videos. So I use Fraps to record the screen, the Minecraft audio, as well as the Skype call I'm in. So that's what I use Fraps for and it works very well as you have seen. Now getting onto the Skype calls, how to actually record the Skype call voice? Well, I'm going to start off with a program called Avea. I know some people probably know this, it's a pretty popular program. Now there is a downside to this, there is a trial version and a paid version. With the trial version, you can only record for 5 minutes. So be warned about that. But there is a way to get it for free, of course there's a way to get everything for free so you can go ahead and look that up if you want to. Or of course you can be legit and purchase it. Now it's only $20 and you get that for a lifetime and you can see you also get a 12 month technical support and updates with 30 days money back guarantee, meaning if you purchase it, you don't like it, within 30 days you can get your money back. So you can go ahead and test it out like that as well. Now another software I'd recommend to record your Skype calls is this right here, iFree Skype Recorder. Now this is 100% free and you can see no limits are attached to this. Now, this is how it looks, it's a nice simple recording, so you press the record button, and it's going to record your Skype call straight away. With this as well, it also comes in an MP3 file format after you've done recording, so for some people that like MP3, this is for you as well. So those are the two softwares I would recommend to record your Skype calls. Now finally, getting on to recording your voice. There are two softwares I really like. The first one is called Audacity, I'm pretty sure everyone knows this, just look at that, 130,000 downloads in the past week. Audacity, very very simple software, 100% free, I've made a tutorial on how to use it, in fact I've made a tutorial on how to use all of these softwares apart from Ivea, so you can be sure to go to the description and check them out if you want to know more about them. And yeah, Audacity, very good program, I used to use this a lot but I've recently found another program which we'll get onto after this one. Now the final program I'm going to show you to record your voice is something called RecordPad. Now, highly recommended, I've only been using this for the past week, I am very happy with this, so I use this when I record my Minecraft videos. Now, if you want to know more about this software, I've also made a tutorial on this. Now, even though it does have a purchase record pad, I have the free one, and the free one is really good. I'll record it up to an hour and 40 minutes, no problems at all. So, this is a very good software, and I would recommend this as well. 
So that is it for this video, that is how you can record a dual commentary, it's very simple and it just requires a little bit of setup, maybe a little bit of money to put towards some software and you're good to go. Now just to run you through very quickly how I record my Minecraft videos, of course I have a Skype call, I have Minecraft and then I need my software. So this is how I do it, I have Fraps open to record my screen along with the system audio along with the Skype call. Then I either had Audacity or Record Pad which I've recently been using to record my voice. Then after that I just sync it all up and it's very simple to do. And then I can put it all together and it's complete. So that is how I record my dual commentaries. It is very very simple and it requires a little bit of setup and like I said at the start it might be a bit confusing when you first start off but as you go on it's going to be really easy to just set up and go. So yeah, like I said, start the video. If you'd like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or in Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you updated when I'll be posting and what I'll be posting. Also, be sure to go and check out my gaming channel. I post three to four times a week. And finally, be sure to go and add me on Snapchat or just what I do throughout my day. So yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.